1 Kings, Chapter 16 Then the word of the Lord came to Jehu, the son of Hanani, against Baasha, saying, Inasmuch as I lifted you out of the dust, and made you ruler over my people Israel, and you have walked in the way of Jeroboam, and have made my people Israel sin, to provoke me to anger with their sins, surely I will take away the posterity of Beersha, and the posterity of his house, and I will make your house like the house of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. The dogs shall eat whoever belongs to Beersha and dies in the city, and the birds of the air shall eat whoever dies in the fields. Now the rest of the acts of Beersha, what he did, and his might, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? So Beersha rested with his fathers, and was buried in Tirzah. Then Elah, his son, reigned in his place. And also the word of the Lord came by the prophet Jehu, the son of Hanani, against Beersha and his house, because of all the evil that he did in the sight of the Lord in provoking him to anger with the work of his hands, in being like the house of Jeroboam, and because he killed them. In the twenty-sixth year of Asa king of Judah, Elah, the son of Beersha, became king over Israel, and reigned two years in Tirzah, now his servant Zimri, commander of half his chariots, conspired against him as he was in Tirzah, drinking himself drunk in the house of Arza, steward of his house in Tirzah. And Zimri went in and struck him, and killed him in the twenty-seventh year of Asa king of Judah, and reigned in his place. Then it came to pass, when he began to reign, as soon as he was seated on his throne, that he killed all the household of Beersha. He did not leave him one male, neither of his relatives nor of his friends. Thus Zimri destroyed all the household of Beersha, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke against Beersha by Jehu the prophet, for all the sins of Beersha and the sins of Elah his son, by which they had sinned and by which they had made Israel sin, in provoking the Lord God of Israel to anger with their idols. Now the rest of the acts of Elah, and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? In the twenty-seventh year of Asa, king of Judah, Zimri had reigned in Tirzah seven days. And the people were encamped against Gibbethon, which belonged to the Philistines. Now the people who were encamped heard it said, Zimri has conspired, and also has killed the king. So all Israel made Amri, the commander of the army, king over Israel that day in the camp. Then Amri and all Israel went with him up from Gibbethon, and they besieged Tirzah. And it happened, when Zimri saw that the city was taken, that he went into the citadel of the king's house, and burned the king's house down upon himself with fire, and died, because of the sins which he had committed in doing evil in the sight of the Lord, in walking in the way of Jeroboam, and in his sin which he had committed to make Israel sin. Now the rest of the acts of Zimri, and the treason he committed, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? Then the people of Israel were divided into two parts. Half of the people followed Tibni, the son of Gineth, to make him king, and half followed Amri. But the people who followed Amri prevailed over the people who followed Tibni, the son of Gineth. So Tibni died, and Amri reigned. In the thirty-first year of Asa, king of Judah, Amri became king over Israel, and reigned twelve years. Six years he reigned in Tirzah, and he bought the hill of Samaria from Shema, 
for two talents of silver. Then he built on the hill and called the name of the city which he built Samaria, after the name of Shema, owner of the hill. Amri did evil in the eyes of the Lord and did worse than all who were before him. For he walked in all the ways of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, and in his sin by which he had made Israel sin, provoking the Lord God of Israel to anger with their idols. Now the rest of the acts of Amri, which he did, and the might that he showed, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? So Amri rested with his fathers and was buried in Samaria. Then Ahab, his son, reigned in his place. In the thirty-eighth year of Asa, king of Judah, Ahab, the son of Amri, became king over Israel. And Ahab, the son of Amri, reigned over Israel in Samaria twenty-two years. Now Ahab, the son of Amri, did evil in the sight of the Lord more than all who were before him. And it came to pass, as though it had been a trivial thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, that he took as wife Jezebel, the daughter of Ethbaal, king of the Sidonians. And he went and served Baal and worshipped him. Then he set up an altar for Baal in the temple of Baal, which he had built in Samaria. And Ahab made a wooden image. Ahab did more to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger than all the kings of Israel who were before him. In his days, Hiel of Bethel built Jericho. He laid its foundation with Abiram, his firstborn, and with his youngest son, Segub, he set up its gates, according to the word of the Lord, which he had spoken through Joshua, the son of Nun. Second Chronicles, Chapter 17 Then Jehoshaphat, his son, reigned in his place, and strengthened himself against Israel. And he placed troops in all the fortified cities of Judah, and set garrisons in the land of Judah and in the cities of Ephraim, which Asa his father had taken. Now the Lord was with Jehoshaphat because he walked in the former ways of his father David. He did not seek the Baals, but sought the God of his father, and walked in his commandments, and not according to the acts of Israel. Therefore the Lord established the kingdom in his hand, and all Judah gave presents to Jehoshaphat, and he had riches and honor in abundance, and his heart took delight in the ways of the Lord, Moreover, he removed the high places and wooden images from Judah. Also, in the third year of his reign, he sent his leaders, Ben-Hael, Obadiah, Zechariah, Nithanel, and Micaiah, to teach in the cities of Judah. And with them he sent Levites, Shimea, Nethaniah, Zebediah, Asahel, Shemiramath, Jehanathan, Adonijah, Tabijah, and Tab Adonijah, the Levites, and with them Elishama and Jehoram, the priests. So they taught in Judah and had the book of the law of the Lord with them. They went throughout all the cities of Judah and taught the people. And the fear of the Lord fell on all the kingdoms of the lands that were around Judah, so that they did not make war against Jehoshaphat. Also some of the Philistines brought Jehoshaphat presents and silver as tribute. And the Arabians brought him flocks, 7,700 rams and 7,700 male goats. So Jehoshaphat became increasingly powerful, and he built fortresses and storage cities in Judah. He had much property in the cities of Judah, and the men of war, mighty men of valor, were in Jerusalem. 
These are their numbers according to their fathers' houses. Of Judah, the captains of thousands, Adna, the captain, and with him three hundred thousand mighty men of valor. And next to him was Jehohanan, the captain, and with him two hundred and eighty thousand. And next to him was Amasiah, the son of Zichri, who willingly offered himself to the Lord, and with him two hundred thousand mighty men of valor. Of Benjamin, Eliada, a mighty man of valor, and with him two hundred thousand men armed with bow and shield. And next to him was Jehazabad, and with him one hundred and eighty thousand prepared for war. These served the king, besides those the king put in the fortified cities throughout all Judah.